When I was a kid, my parents took me to see this sci-fi, post-apocalyptic hell of a movie. Now, in this movie, there was two memories I have. Being scared of a robot disguised as a cop, and Arnold himself as the Terminator. If there's something that reminds me of the day my parents showed me Arnold scanning the area, identifying a target, and hunting that target down with a rose box shotgun, it's One-Eyed Mask. Three, two, one. Bro, let's go! Some footage in this video is from players around the community. Their links will be in the description of this video, as well as the music too. The subscriber that changed all of YouTube forever. Now, that could be you, but you chose not to subscribe, and you chose not to hit the bell. Wow. Just, wow. Anyways, for the rest of the chads who sub with the bell on, enjoy the video. One-Eyed Mask, the exotic helmet that made a whole generation of Destiny players regret even looking at anyone wearing it. An exotic so powerful, it single-handedly made every single player cower in fear at its presence. An exotic that led me to make one of my very first videos on YouTube. And you will know my name is the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon thee. An exotic that was so good, I had to make a separate video from all the other armor exotics that were busted. An exotic that can only be described as the Terminator. So, let's officially meet Destiny's Terminator. The One-Eyed Mask. You may be wondering why the One-Eyed Mask was made to be such a crucible devastator, and I wish I could give you clear reasoning. Other than the sales team at Bungie and Activision in 2018 going full balls to the wall for power fantasy, there shouldn't have been any reason the One-Eyed Mask existed. The crucible was always a place for somewhat balance with some outliers, but there was already an exotic that needed to be tuned, and that was tuned at Forsaken's launch. The Wormhus Crown was this exotic, and it was less powerful than the One-Eyed Mask. The Wormhus Crown allowed any hunter that simply dodged to regain all of their health in that dodge. Combine this with Reload Dodge, the time to kill of Year 1 Destiny 2, and you had a combo that was sufficient at one thing, staying alive. Let's even look back further to other exotics the One-Eyed Mask would take inspiration from. There's the Foe Tracer, which marks targets with a red X, and the Hunter subclass Tether from Destiny 1, allowing for the same to happen. Then there's the Eye of Another World, which buffs ability regen and marks high priority targets. Kind of like... Hmm. Never mind. The missing element in all of this, though, is an overshield. Oh, and a damage boost on top of that. I need to stress this again, then. Not even the precursors of the One-Eyed Mask could have seen this exotic's dominance coming. It's like when Godzilla just got done whooping some ass, then Mecha Godzilla comes in and breaks the whole meta of kaijus by busting out some cheats. We all got skynetted, and the One-Eyed Mask was the Terminator warning us of a potential future where players have perfect aim flying around the crucible, ruining trials of Osiris, giving themselves infinite ammo and infinite lives. Got a Bro, what the Let's fuck go. is that? Now wait a minute. The night was September 4th of 2018, when the One-Eyed Mask would make its mark inside of Destiny 2 Forsaken. You may think players were instantly running around with this beast. Maybe even Zur would sell it relatively early to the players. But no, 
Forsaken didn't play by those free-to-play model rules of giving exotics for barely any effort. Forsaken took their damn time, with exotics being given to the point where it was a weekly talk of the town if someone got an exotic to drop. Plus, most of the exotics that did drop for players weren't even from Forsaken. A lot of them were duplicates. So there was no bad luck protection, and there was extremely low odds you ran into a Forsaken exotic at release. However, if you did run into one, especially in the Crucible, it was time to run in fear. We've been over exotics like Gwiz and Vest for infinite spectral blades, Shards of Galanor for almost instant blade barrage, Phoenix Protocol for infinite well of radiance, Ursa Furiosa for infinite sentinel shield, the list goes on. But while those exotics were focused on getting your super back fast or staying in your super forever, the one-eyed mask was a super in the form of a helmet. Combine Wormhus Crown's health regen, but slap an overshield on it with Foe Tracer's Red X and Eye of Another World scan for anyone that even looks in your general direction, and add a damage bonus on top of that. That is how the One Eyed Mask operated. All you had to do was look at someone with this mask on, kill them, and you were an unkillable force to be reckoned with. Combined with Forsaken introducing pinnacle weapons like Luna's Howl, Not Forgotten, Mountaintop, Recluse, and we're talking about something just, just pure madness. Of course, you instantly had everyone screaming my famous line at this point, was this even tested? And even more people perplexed as to how Wormhus Crown was nerfed after months of complaints about its power and overabundance, Yet One-Eyed Mask came in even stronger for a class that has debatably better supers at its disposal. The strongest this exotic ever became was in the season of the Forge or Black Armory, when the mask was on and Bottom Tree Striker Titan could basically have an infinite super. <laughs> Not only did Esoteric do Esoteric things with that super, but pair One-Eyed Mask for the Overshield and full health with that super, and you were better off running away from Titans in the Crucible. So, the damage bonus, right? Well, you may think it was just a little throwaway buff with little to no benefit, but with the returning and amazing Ace of Spades exotic, you could two-tap people in the Crucible with it. I'm not joking, this is an exotic that the team at Bungie shipped to the game. And I loved it! I loved the chaos for that brief period of time. Was it something that should have lasted? Hell no! But it was something beautiful to watch come to life, have its time, then get nerfed eventually. The Anud that was One-Eyed Mask may have had wall hacks, but those wall hacks were intended by Bungie. Not the ones you guys keep telling me get advertised all over YouTube that I, much like every other content creator, has no control over but somehow gets blamed for having ads on my videos. Hey, I'm, I'm not in charge, guys. That's, that's on YouTube. Bungie would put the clamps on the mask eventually, though, and it's important we talk about that, too. The One-Eyed Mask was eventually nerfed, which I think you already knew, or else you'd still be seeing all of Reddit and Bungie forums farming interactions about it. The One-Eyed Mask was changed with the Season of the Drifters release. Not only was the Lord of Wolves buffed, but the One-Eyed Mask was nerfed. Quote, in Update 2.2.0, the Mark of Vengeance, which is tracking marker that appears above enemies, has been reduced in duration from the current 15 seconds down to 8 seconds. The way health is granted after a kill is changing as well. Instead of health being instantly put at 100% with an overshield that charges over time, now health will charge along with the overshield. This change has the potential to let other players counter the health and shield charge by dealing damage. Lastly, Vengeance will not trigger when Titans are in their supers. This may sound like a nerf to some. I mean, 
15 seconds of the vengeance buff down to eight whole seconds mixed with only having to regen both the shield and your health at the same time man what would one-eyed mask players ever do surely they're gonna take this bad boy off and swap it for something else right right Yeah, no, this wouldn't do a damn thing to the players using this thing. Eventually, in the Season of the Opulence, Ace of Spades received a nerf for One-Eyed Mask 2 tapping, but the One-Eyed wouldn't be touched outside of this for the entire season. It would take all the way until Shadow Keep's launch for the One-Eyed Mask to get a sufficient nerf to it. After countless videos, articles and reddit posts complaining about its dominance the one-eyed mask was neutered down to a reasonable level and it wasn't just the mask that went down it was everything with it it was like seeing a gangster movie where one character goes down and then the whole gang goes down first bungie took down striker titan's bottom tree with a volley of nerfs all over the place that has rendered the super very balanced but mostly useless this came with a full overhaul of the sandbox in Destiny 2 post Forsaken, which definitely ended an era for the game, and is something I would say Shadowkeep did very well, and Beyond Light didn't do as well. But the One-Eyed Mask was only listed as on the radar for a future change at that point. It wouldn't be for a bit longer until this one was finally at bay. Basically, all Bungie did was remove the overshield portion of One-Eyed Mask. Everything else stayed the same. It wouldn't be all the way until Season of the Worthy where we would see an era of true greatness finally be melted down into the remains of what once was. So let's talk about that and wrap up some closing thoughts. The One-Eyed Mask, Destiny's most problematic yet incredibly overpowered exotic. An exotic that combined elements of other exotics from years prior into one and added its own flair in the mix. An exotic that's name would be in everyone's mouth for the entirety of year two Destiny 2. An exotic that made getting those pinnacles from the Crucible either more annoying because you ran into it or relieved the stress because you were wearing it. An exotic that may have just been made for the brand new medal to the Crucible for a 50 kill streak. The I made this for you medal. I can't believe that. Oh, oh. I don't have a medal for this. Hang on. I'm so proud of you, Guardian, and I want you to ha have this. Well, in Destiny 2's Season of the Worthy, and after four and a half nerfs, the One-Eyed Mask had its final one, and the one that I think has made players drop using this exotic entirely. One-Eyed Mask lost the ability to put an X on the enemy and instead highlighted them, not working through walls. The damage bonus was stripped away, but the overshield returned with a catch. Six seconds instead of eight. What was once the Terminator was now a shell of its former self. This was definitely done in an effort to balance trials, but unfortunately, it was going to be too late for the game mode, because while One-Eyed Mask was a bungee-made wall hack, the cheats some players used in trials made the mask look weak. Stasis in the future would even make the cheaters feel weak. And who knows, maybe one day another exotic armor piece will make everyone cower in fear again. Because while the mask may be at the bottom of some ocean rusting away now, it doesn't mean there's something that can't take its place. If all these exotics were turned into the mask, then the mask can be expanded upon even further. I'm not sure we'd want to see that timeline though. But if there is that timeline, I will be there for it. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like, comment on what I should cover next time, and please drop a subscription. Be sure to watch my live streams at EvanF1997 on Twitch, 
follow all my socials especially instagram right now i really want the swipe up feature and until the next video everyone enjoy the bloopers and thank you again for watching this video i'll see you next time Laid out. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was like oh! a 12 meter melee. Feels bad. Oh, what the dude? Oh, you I, I, I'm him. not making this shit up. I saw that chain. That was disgusting. Ouch. You got it. Is he above me? No, 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 no.